Hi everybody, happy Sunday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm coming at you with 2022 Topps Gypsy Queen Baseball. I think this dropped on Friday. Five box, half case, random team break number five. Second half is already loaded up. One spot gets you three teams, no vet common ship, and uh, a lot of fun stuff in this Gypsy Queen. So big thanks to this group for making it happen. Let's triple you up. There's one, there's two, and there's three. And all 30 baseball teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize names and teams. Three and a three, six the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Got Edgar, Dan, Rob. Three and a three, six the hard way for the teams. One, two, three, four, Five and sixth and final time. And after six, we got Toronto down to the Brew Crew. All right, so Edgar with the Blue Jays, Lonnie with the Nationals and the Phillies, Rob with the A's, Lonnie with the Orioles, the Cubs, the Rays, Michael with the Mets, Austin with the Rockies, Lonnie with the White Sox, Michael with the Giants, Lonnie with the Royals. Austin with the Guardians, Rob with the Pirates, John with my Dodgers, Austin with the Twins, Lonnie with the Rangers, Edgar with the Cardinals, Rob with the Marlins, Edgar with the Astros, Michael with the Braves, John with the Tigers, Lonnie with the Yankees, Rob with the Padres, Lonnie with the Red Sox, Rob with the Diamondbacks, Lonnie with the Angels, John with the Mariners, Lonnie with the Reds, and Rob with the Brew Crew. All right, let's alphabetize by team. And we're going to pause the video. I'm going to go run and grab the case. The trade window is now open. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. And then the break. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done, so that list I'll show you in just a second remains the same. First, we're going to pick which five boxes we're going to do right here. There's the Gypsy Queen. Appreciate everybody getting in on it. open Looks like there's gonna be five on the left side and five on the right side All right. So we're going to select a die. Ooh, we're going to select that one right there. We'll go one, two, three for the left side and four, five, six for the right side. Six. So we'll do the right side right here and this side. We'll save for next time. So we'll put those blue X's across the GQ, the Gypsy Queen logo. And there's all five boxes right there. Right, there are two on-card autographs per box on average. I'm sure there's all sorts of fun inserts and parallels as well. And let's see what we got inside, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. We got the sounds of uh, got the sounds of White Sox at Yankees on in the background. A lot of a lot of sports going on today. 
Justin Thomas came back. Um, Justin Thomas came back big. He was down big and then ended up winning in a playoff scenario. If Will Zalatoris, if he could putt a little bit, um, man, that, that might be a different tournament for, for him. But he's pretty young. For those of you into the golf, it's kind of a longer break, so we can talk about all sorts of different things here. Um, double bogey for, uh, for the Chilean Mito Pereira. He was leading most of the way the last two days. Um, but yeah, so just top, your top five, Justin Thomas and Will Zalatoris ending minus five. Justin Thomas winning the playoffs. Cameron Young third, tied with Pereira, both minus four. Tommy Fleetwood at minus three. There must be a number of, number of golfers at minus three. Uh, so is a playoff hole like OT and golf? Correct. So if they're all tied up at the last hole, they do... Sometimes it's different. I think this course they did a three-hole playoff, so it's just your best score after three holes. I feel like some places may do four. I think it just depends on how the tournament decides to do it, but I think this was a... Uh, I think this was a, a three-hole playoff, so... Yeah, so Justin Thomas, Will Zalatoris finish at minus five. Cameron Young, Mito Pereira, minus four. Tommy Fleetwood, Chris Kirk, Matthew Fitzpatrick, Roy, uh, or minus three. Roy McIlroy, sort of an up and down tournament for him, minus two. Cameron Smith was shooting pretty well early, but he fell to, fell to 13th today. This is a pretty tough course. Um, a lot of wind. I think a lot of wind messed up a lot of days, messed up a lot of scores. Also, Gilo, I th I'm pretty sure that if after three, because you're like, wait, what if they're tied after those three playoff holes? Then I think each hole is a sudden death. So whoever has the best score on the on the hole after that. All right, baseball. My first. Uh, live look at Gypsy Queen. I kind of like the the sort of, I don't know what they're doing here, but sort of like an old ticket taking machine or something like that, or a jukebox, or what do we got here? Some sort of ticket machine type look here. I kind of like that. And they kind of have almost, seems like some, some metal in the background. And we got these little guys here too. I'm assuming all cards ship in this. No, no vet commons ship. So these are commons. Those aren't going to ship. That's a rookie that will ship. That insert will ship, of course. That will ship. Blue border will ship. It's also because it's numbered. Carlos Carrasco to 250. Oh, I should probably show you who's in this break. Oh no, you already saw the randomizer, but here's the official printout. There you go. So there were no no trades, of course. So um, Carlos Carrasco uh, for the Mets. That's going to go to Michael L. and the Metropolitans. Oh, and there's our autograph. There's a top certified stamp right there too. That's pretty cool. Is this a variation? Actually, I haven't brushed up on my, because there's no name right here. It's Adam Frazier. Maybe a no name variation autograph. I know they, they kind of do all that, all those variations and stuff like that. This little madrigal die cut. Mariners, that's going to be for John McCall. Other little GQ gems, mini Raphael Devers. Like this is not the A lineup for the Yankees giving the injury 
And in case I miss any variations, I'm sure our shipping team will be well informed of those and be able to find those. Yeah, so there's missing nameplate, team logo swap, missing black plate, burnt umber, those are numbered. So those are all numbered. And then missing nameplate, team logo swap, those are pretty short printed, but those are the base short print parallels. The rest of them are numbered. Let's see if there's anything else I need to look out for. No, everything else will be numbered. All right, onwards. Got a Nick Madrigal gold to 50. That will be for Lonnie and the Cubbies. Pretty sure Bobby Witt has an auto in here. Did they get Bobby Witt autos in here? Here's George Springer, Aqua to 199 for Toronto. That'll be for Edgar and the Blue Jays. Let's, I have, do have the checklist open. Yeah, Bobby Witt Jr. is on the autograph checklist. So that's something Lonnie, who has the Royals, would be looking out for. I think it's just autos though and not part of the not part of the base set. Yeah, I think I think it's just part of the Gypsy Queen autograph checklist. That's to 3.99. And there's our second autograph of the box, Trey uh Auburn Jig for Cincinnati. It's going to go to Lonnie. Uh, I was like the the artwork and the design of Gypsy Queen. It's kind of like I mean, there's a lot of similarities to uh, to Allen and Ginter. But this is basically for like, hey, do you like Allen and Ginter but don't like all the other extra stuff? <laughs> then this is your set because this is mostly, if not all, baseball. I don't think there's other any extra stuff at all. Nice Wander Franco rookie die cut for the Rays. That's going to go to Lonnie. All right, box one in the books. is happening in the world of sports today. Michigan de declines Laker. Michigan's uh, coach Howard de declining Lakers interest in him as a head coach. Juan Howard. Parker, oldest WN WNBA player to log a triple-double. Pools, homering twice. And Yachty pitches, apparently, in a Cardinal victory. Brown said to have reached a deal to sign Jadavion Clowney, apparently. Tampa Bay, Lightning in hockey. It's 
Stanley Cup playoff time. We do have a Stanley Cup playoff mixer on the site, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I think we're giving away Connor McDavid. Tampa Bay Lightning beat the Panthers 5-1. They, they have a commanding lead of the series, 3-0. Rangers scratching a game back. They beat the Hurricanes 3-1. Carolina leads the series 2-1. And then uh, in about, I think right about now, Calgary and Edmonton are going to be playing. They're, uh, they're tied at 1. That's on ESPN 2. Might switch over to that. And then we got, a, in about an hour, we got basketball, Golden State. Uh, they're in Dallas. We'll go through some baseball scores in the next box. Oh, no. Chilo saying his Royals blew a six-run lead in the eighth? What happened? Bull, a little bullpen meltdown, huh? I want to watch White Sox Yankees, maybe Flames at Oilers, little playoff hockeys. This is some background noise. All right, second box, two more autographs. Good luck. It's Trey Mancini for the Orioles. That's for Lonnie. That's the 399, 270 out of 399. Jesse Winker, Refractor, or Chrome card actually, Gypsy Queen Chrome. Oh, there's a no-name front right there. That's for Rob and the Diamondbacks. That's Kettle Marte. And our first autograph, some good penmanship there. Ron Darling. That's for the Mets. That's going to go to Michael L. and the Metropolitans. I'll do an autograph recap at the end of the break as well. Uh, Adley Rushman got called up. Everyone see his debut last night? I want to say he... His first at or his first hit as a big leaguer was a triple, I want to say, if I remember correctly. It's Hans Kraus to 250. That was yesterday. Lonnie with the Phillies. Oh, and our second autograph is Jared Kalanick. Nice on-card auto for the M's. That will be for John and the Mariners. And let's see if we can find, yeah, get some numbered cards here. There's Videl Brujan. 13 out of 50 for the Rays, Lonnie. Second box in the books. All right. Used a kind of a stronger shrink wrap on this this time around. A 
was a little too precarious for my tastes. All right. What about some baseball? What do we got baseball-wise? We got a final in Anaheim. Angels beat the A's 4-1. And what are the A's going to do? No fans in the stands. There's the... I think there is going to be a vote on what they're going to do with a plot of land that the Oakland A's are kind of looking at to build a new stadium. But if that falls through, if that doesn't get approved, then I think that vote may be in the next month or so. And that could lead to a path where the A's may no longer be in Oakland. Padres pounded the Giants 10-1. Giants only managing uh, four hits on whoever was pitching today. Padres' five-run fourth inning propels them to a 10-1. Mets shut out the Rockies 2-0. Uh, game one of a doubleheader, a makeup game from May 20th. White Sox beat the Yankees 3 1. AJ Pollock with a go ahead home run against the Rollis Chap. Kind of miss AJ Pollock, former Dodger. Cubs beat the Diamondbacks 5 4. Wisdom and Schwindel, back-to-back -back homers. Nationals beat the Brewers 8-2. Lane Thomas doubles to left to make it 3-0 Nats. They pounded out 14 hits. Astros beat the Rangers 5-2. Altuve lead off home run in that game. Go through the rest after this. All right, next box. We got JT Real Muto to 199, 68 out of 199 for the Fighting Phils. Jeff McNeil to 399 for the Mets. And our first autograph is an old school Jim Cat. Jim Cott? Cat? Austin with the Twins. And Michael has the Mets, gets the McNeil. Chris Paddock may be in line for another Tommy John, unfortunately. Rodolfo Castro, Chrome card. for the Phillies. Dodgers giving a win to the Phillies with a with an uncharacteristically bad defensive play by Max Muncy. Allowed some runs to score and extras and that was that. That's all she wrote. Now Trevor Story, Rockies addition to 250. And there's Andrew Vaughn. Chicago White Sox autograph for Lonnie. 80 out of 99 on that one. Still Rockies edition on this one. Austin with the Rocks. I think Trevor Story may be starting to come alive a little bit for the Red Sox. There he is, Max Muncy. Kind of booted a ball away. A very slow hit ball. 
There's Kettle Marte. Four out of five. Wow, nice. Little train whistle for Rob and the Diamondbacks out of five and under. Gets the train whistle. Congrats. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice. All right, next box. We saw a Trey Turner card here. I think he's got another sort of double-digit hit hitting streak going. Maybe at like 11 or 12, maybe. All right, we've got some other scores here. Yeah, as Gilo was mentioning, Twins beat the Royals 7-6. Apparently a six-run lead evaporated in the eighth, led by uh, Gilo Urshela. Tigers beat the Guardians 4-2. Josh Naylor smacks a 416-foot home run to center. Wow. Alcantara, K-7 in a complete game victory over the Braves. Beat the Marlins beat the Rays 4-3. Reds edged out the Blue Jays 3-2 after a really bad start for the Reds. They've been winning some games here and there. They're, they're being a little more competitive. Joshua, what's up? Can you buy insurance? Yes, you can. Um, go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, hit the support button, and then uh, let our team know. They're out today, but it's a Sunday, but they should be able to to get to you tomorrow. That, that's not going to ship for a few days anyway, so there should be plenty of time. Rex says, hi, everyone. New here. Been hearing a lot about this breaking thing. Rex, welcome. Go to jazbeescasebreaks.com. There is a frequently asked questions area there. Browse that. And even if you're not new to breaking, if you haven't looked at that, take a look. Just to kind of, even if even, that's just a refresher. Orioles and Extras beat the Rays 7-6. Wow. Rushman scores to walk it off for the Orioles. So he was he was on base. Good for him. Adley Rushman. Just one for five, but that's an important one. So the Adley Adley Rushman time. Adley Rushman time. So if you've been holding those, maybe maybe take a take a look and see uh, see how his cards are reacting in the secondary market. Another extra inning game. Red Sox beat the Mariners eight to four. Mariners started off the season kind of hot, but then have cooled cooled a little bit. All right, next box. There's Will Smith, seventeen out of one ninety nine. And there's the autograph, Davey Garcia. Yankees, that's going to be for Lonnie and the Bronx Bombers. Dodgers will get that. John with the Dodgers. Rex is saying, in all seriousness, uh, the Reds, they may not be able to help themselves, but they can change. Yeah, I mean, they, they still have a couple... Well, Luis Castillo, I think, remains as their big, a potential big trading piece. Maybe a couple other players, but I think that may stand as one of the bigger names. Little stack here. All 
If the Reds keep up and continue playing, they can change the standings quickly. Like as, a, as, a, as some sort of spoiler for potential playoff teams, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're still, yeah, they're still in line to be a, a team that could still spoil things for other teams. Got a Stuart Fairchild to 399. Right, originally everyone with everyone's kind of thinking, oh, the Reds, that's just a team we can just just walk all over, but yeah, they, they say competitive. All right, there's Roldis Chapman to 150. And there's our second autograph. That's Garrett Whitlock. Whitlock. Cool Whit. Whitlock. Going to Lonnie and the Red Sox. Right, yeah, exactly. Exactly, Rex. That's, it's a long season, so you, things could change throughout the season. That's what's great about it. That's what's great about the sport. You find out, find yourself not really paying attention too closely, especially for casual fans. They're not, not really paying attention to these garbage teams, and they're like, wait, where, where, where did this team come from? I thought they were terrible. And here they are. Uh, we were talking about this a little bit before. Uh, Phillies beat my Dodgers in extras, four to three, uh, on a Max Muncy blunder. Kind of booted away a ball. I think I was listening to the post-game show on the radio on my drive here, and uh, they were saying that the exit velo on that hit to Max Muncy was like was like 68 miles per hour, which is probably probably slower than. You know what? What they would hit off of like a fungo bat for infield practice. You know, Cardinals pounding the Pirates eighteen to four. Pujols home was twice, and and Yachty was the position player that got to a little pitching. Right, midseason trades can change things drastically. Absolutely, Rex. That's a hot take. But maybe not for the Reds, though. I think, uh, I think they'll probably be sellers. But every game counts. You know, there, there are teams that, are, uh, that, that may miss the playoffs by a game, and they're like, boy, you can point to that, that, that game they lost to any team in like May and be like, should have been a series that we should have won. All right, final box. Good luck. There's Colton Wong. I think he's been heating up a little bit for the Brewers. At least that's what I've noticed. I've got him on my fantasy team. That'll be for Rob and the Brew Crew.
Joe Adele raking in the minors, but not, but struggling in the, in the majors. Maybe he figured something out in the minors, though. Still pretty young. Jury's still out on him. Rex, is a, he's a Cubs fan. He's expecting a Contreras trade in the next month or so. Hate to see it, but it has to be coming. Yeah, there's no other... After, you know, they're, they're essentially rebuilding. No real need to hold on to him. Especially if a team like the Yankees come calling. And we've got an Alex Kirloff, 38 out of 50 for the Twins. That'll be for Austin. Especially when it gets close to the postseason. Well, they can't trade past. July 31st, I think. So it's not like they can just make a trade in late September. If they're going to do it, they're going to have to do it by the trading deadline. And that waiver deadline, I'm pretty sure, is no longer there. Remember how there is an extra waiver deadline that went to the end of August? Where teams have a chance to like release players or something like that? I think that's all wrapped up into one trading deadline at the end of July. Devin Williams to 399. It's another Brewer going to Rob. That looked a little different, but it wasn't. Oh, and there's a 10 out of 99. I forgot what they, they called it. Do I still have that cardboard connection page up? They call it something. Is it sepia? They're calling it... No, they're calling it sepia. That's exactly what it is. Nice. Yeah, they'll probably t yeah. A lot of teams will be figuring out. It's Geraldo Perdomo, Rob with the Diamondbacks. Uh, unlikely though, Rex, that that the, that the Yankees, especially with the expanded standings, that they're going to not be in in the hunt for a playoff spot. So they'll be looking to, like all the other playoff teams, will be looking to make some moves. So we'll stick with us, ladies and gentlemen. Keep breaking baseball with us all season long. And uh, we'll keep chatting baseball all season long. And we'll have our shipping team top load all these before they're sorted and shipped out. It's a lot of fun parallels. Gypsy Queen is a fun look. Second half of the case is in the store right now. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.